Hi everyone, long time no see. This is an exciting video for me because I have not filmed one in a long time, so you have not seen this background yet. And also, it's my second Shay Mitchell makeup tutorial, my very first makeup tutorial on YouTube was actually a Shay Mitchell 17 magazine cover. So it's exciting, we've come full circle since then. Another exciting point is that this is my first back to school video of the series that I will be doing. So if you would like to see how to achieve this makeup look, which is inspired by the August 2015 Shay no, inspired Shea Mitchell 17 Magazine August 2015 makeup tutorial. And stay tuned and we can get started. I'm falling in, I'm falling down. Starting off with the Batman and Robin of the Makeup World, which is foundation and concealer. I will then set those with some translucent powder. To let you know how I'm feeling. I'm high on hope. I'm we want to have a nude base so the shadows look the best that they can. So I'm applying Urban Decay's Priming Potion, then the base of the shadows, which is Maybelline's 24 hour shadow in the bronze shade. Then I'm adding another shade of bronze. I'm using Smog from the first Naked palette on the outer third of my lid and lower lash line. And the most important step, which is to blend out the shadows. might seem like I'm applying the same bronze color to my crease, but I promise this one is different since the shade of bronze adds the more gold undertone, whereas the other two had more brown bases. Alright, now to make the eyes appear wide and open, you know, in case someone mistakes them for being closed, I'm applying a gold shadow to the inner corner and also using the shadow smog again beneath the lash line to pull the whole look together. Her makeup was quite natural, but you could definitely see her eyes were defined by eyeliner and false lashes. Therefore, brown eyeliner is the way to go because it looks a lot more natural. Now you know she has talented makeup artists doing her makeup, meaning she probably didn't poke her eyes out in this process, and also has a generous amount of false lashes on. But hey, I tried, and I believe I got three little lashes on. You can't have a bronze makeup look without the bronzer, so I'm applying NARS's Laguna Bronzer. And for the blush, I'm using one of my favorites, Exposed from Tarte, which is a year-round staple in my makeup collection. So after I filled in the sparse areas of my brows to make them on fleek, uh, okay, I 100% do regret saying that, but I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer just to add some more color. And then for the lipstick, I'm using a natural shimmery nude lipstick. And that is it for the entire makeup look. So that's it for this makeup look. It's very simple except for the false lashes because I cannot put false lashes on to save my life. Yeah, other than that, it's very simple and pretty and I think it's really nice for transitioning from the summertime into the school and fall period. So that is it for this video. I really hope you liked this makeup look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I would know and I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> Bye everyone. Now you know